I talked to our guys about it, and anybody that knows Keelan, I just, what a, what a phenomenal kid. I mean, what a phenomenal person. And he is a great player, but he's even a greater person. And I think all of that happened because of his humility and his work ethic, and ended up coming out on the plus side of it, which you're always very happy for. Um, and to me, that was the best thing about it. It was the good guy wins story. It wasn't the bad guy wins, it was the good guy wins. And you're not gonna find anybody sweeter, smarter, uh, more giving, more humble, more hardworking, more dedicated, tougher than Keelan Doss. You're not. And his intangibles, off the chart. Off the chart. I couldn't be prouder. I could not be prouder. I mean, he. Uh, we talked about this all the time the past two years since uh, when we were together. And we talked about how all we needed was an opportunity. And he worked his butt off during training camp. And, and you know, the Lord blessed him with an opportunity. And I know that it's only going to grow from here. He's one of those guys that's never satisfied. And I know that he's going to take full advantage of the opportunity that he's given just because that's in his DNA. That's just who he is. He helped carry the load last year for us and he's gonna be able to do the you know similar things in the NFL with how smart he is and and how much of a teammate he is and um, it couldn't have happened to a better guy I mean that guy's like a brother to me and um, anytime I can see him it's always great but man I'm pulling for him he's like family to me when your best players your Jake Mayer and Keelan Doss when your best players are like that then everybody else kind of goes yeah maybe I should do that so that's the thing that's the thing that's most phenomenal about it is just when your best players set the bar and set the example, then everybody else kind of thinks, well, maybe I should do that too.